Right, should we get on with the fix then, shall we? This one's been sent in, well, it originally got sent for overheating and then it's come to me as no power. Whether it's actually been looked at, I don't know. But, either way, let's have a nose, see what's going on with it, first and foremost, shall we? First question, has it been messed with? Yes, it has. Lovely. Lovely. It's been messed with. Oh, and it is no power. Okay. Whether it's been messed with by this business, I do not have a clue. First thing I'm going to do is unplug anything which isn't necessary. Right, so question numero uno is, do we have 12 volts coming out of the power supply? We do not. We have no 12 volt because we haven't got it plugged in. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, for God's sake. We still do not have 12 volts. All right, I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. We still don't have 12 volts. Power supply's dead. Why hasn't that been checked? Why you no check power supply, my friend? Because you are a Muppet. Hey, I didn't... It's not me, don't blame me. Oh, really? Has it really got thermal paste on it? Come on, dude, no! I'm going to scream. Ex excuse me, sir. My PS5 is overheating. So I took it apart and put thermal paste on it. No. Dung. <sighs> well done, Malcolm. Well done. You're a genius. Is it MX5? Mm, looks more like concrete. <sighs> Where's you? Really? Okay. Right, please. Someone explain the logic behind this. Forget the hair. Don't worry about the hair, all right? It's fine. Someone explain the logic. They've taken it apart. They've changed the liquid metal for thermal paste. They've even took the screws out of the damn thing. The, the power supply is right there, hello. Why hasn't it been checked? Malcolm strikes again. Oh, look at this. Come on, dudes. Got liquid metal under here as well. It's squeezing out. Lovely. Now I've got to take the frigging thing apart and uh, not take it apart. I've got to check the um, underneath it. So let me just actually let me just use some IPA and just clean off the rest of it first. Because now that thermal paste has been put on here, it's going to be virtually impossible to actually get liquid metal to bond to it. Okay. One thing I will say is this definitely isn't console repair London that's done this. This is the customer that's done this. By the way, these power supplies that I sell, they are OEM. Just uh, as an FYI. Just checking to make sure we've got no spillage. Ugh. We've got thermal paste under there. I'm not sitting there cleaning the thermal paste out. As long as it's not liquid metal, I don't care. I'm not going to sit there and clean that out, because if I clean that out, look there, look, see that? A little bit of liquid metal. If I sit there and clean that out, I've got to take the sticker off. If I've got to take the sticker off, I've got to re... I've, well, I've basically got to conform or coat the board, and I, or rather the APU, and I don't want to do that. I can't bother to sit there and clean that, so I'll clean it another time and reuse it. I've got another one here that I can use. Time for the moment of truth. Did replacing the power supply fix the issue? Hmm. So is that power supply working? Apparently not working. 
unless there's an issue with my leads. Okay, we're getting 1.3 volts on there. Power supply isn't working. Does it initially put out 12 volts? Like when I first pair it on? No, nothing. Absolutely squat. But we do still have another issue because that's only putting out 1.17 volts, which means the rest of it is being pulled down to ground. Time to go under the scope then. All right, let's check here. Oh, shut up, multimeter. Let me turn the beeper off. There we go. 0.42. Okay. Okay, that seems okay. Mm, that seems a little bit all over the place. Yeah, 0.17 seems better. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be the encoder. Right, so I'm looking for these readings to all stay the same. Okay. Right, you've tripped me before, you one cat. It looks like this is the uh, input and it's not. So, you're not getting me. No, nope. I refuse to allow you to get me like that. That's been changed. Why has someone changed that? Let's just check the Wi-Fi area just to make sure. I think that could have been easy. Yep. It was the power supply all along. Like, that power supply is faulty. Someone's probably wrecked this. Either that or it's been to another shop and they've put a bad power supply in it to scam the customer. Because, yeah, I don't know. It seems like whoever's messed with this don't know what they're doing. It does seem like whoever's messed with this don't know what they're doing. So I think... I'm just going to pull this off. and set my hot air at 160. It's either that or the customer's been scammed with a bad power supply. Uh, a part swapping place. It's not console repair London what's done this for definite. And I know that because he always takes that foam off. And that foam is still on there, and he wouldn't put he wouldn't put thermal paste on it. No, there's no liquid metal under that. Just purely out of curiosity, I'll swap the BIOS chip just to check, just to see if it does. Because the the BIOS chip is known for causing boot sequence issues, and this boot sequence isn't there. It's holding on 0.25 milliamps on there, 25 milliamps. Keep that to one side because I'm going to need it. Let's just see if we get a boot sequence back, shall we? No, we get absolutely nada. Still 0.023 amps of current draw at 12 volts. Someone's done something serious to this, and the problem is there's too much, chip, too many chips been changed to know what they've done. So I'm not spending any more time on it. There we go then. That's going to determine that one's fate. I'm going to do the right thing and clean up the mess that I've made. 
clean up the mess I've made, but that is it. That's all I'm doing to it. I'm going to take my power supply back. Yeah, so I just don't understand the deal with this one. Someone has sent it in for overheating, and then suddenly the power supply doesn't work. That don't make any sense. And then also he's got no power as well. I think, personally, that someone's done a switcheroo of some sort on it. Um, I think it's been to another shop. I think they've swapped out the power supply for a faulty one. And potentially even swapped the board for a faulty one. Maybe. I don't know. Never mind. 